Hello again, it's Helen Howe Designs from Crafts You Print. Today I'm demonstrating to you my very easy swing card. Um, I like to make things easy and um, after looking at a few swing card templates I um, came up with this. So let's um, get going. In this kit you've got seven sheets. You've got a card base and a card back and I've already printed straight onto the back of my card base. You have um, the disc layers and the decoupage layers and of course an envelope which I've already put together for you because we all know how to do that. Now these beautiful graphics come from jaguarwoman.com and the lovely background comes from Zaza Scrap and Tube Store under license. I'm um, sticking with the happy birthday sentiment but you do have a choice of four. There's also feel better soon, thinking of you or one that you can put your own personal message on. So let's get started and let's move these things out of our way. So I printed out my base card and I printed my backing straight onto it. So before we do anything else, in order to make the swing card disc, we need to cut round this outer layer, but only from there to there. We do not cut across these score lines. So let's get to it. Now I'm using a scalpel and I do use a scalpel to cut most things out. And just a little tip if you don't if you're not used to using a scalpel is always try and keep the blade um, upright. When you tilt it then that's when you're likely to go off the lines. Let's hope I don't. So we're on. And it's also best to do it in short movements. Don't try to do it in one big um, cut because you'll go wrong. You need to be moving your card around with you as you go. Now it does take a little bit of time and it does take a little bit of patience but if you do this slowly and see I'm just about to go off the line there you'll get a good nice smooth cut always a little nerve-wracking when you cut into your main card and you just hope that you don't slip in any way and that one will just trim off that it's done so now we're going to do exactly the same with the other side and that really is the only tricky cutting there is to do with this card like I said, I wanted it to be really easy for people to make and yet give you a beautiful result at the same time. Moving up, but not taking my scalpel off if I can help it. You do need good light to do this as well. well. I'm sitting right by a window. There, put that down and our cuts are made. So now we can get rid of the cutting board. Onto the floor and onto the scoring board. Now, there is a fold um, sheet included in your kit 
but this is a very easy fold. You're going to do a valley fold with this one and a mountain fold with that one. So let's get them lined up. That's pretty good. Let's just do it lightly and test. I really ought to clean my bone knife. It's a bit grubby. That's in. So now then. I'm using gloss paper again, so just remember what I said about overscoring gloss paper. You can ruin the surface, so I'm just going to do it twice and hope that's enough. It's through, and we'll do this one. Line it up. Oh, no, that's not lined up. Naughty card, line up, will you? Let's just do a test run. Yep, that's good. Whoa, don't go off the line. Okay, that's done, your two score lines. Now, I'll just move this out the way for a second. Before you um, do your folding, it's a good idea to get these placed on. So you, I'm putting them on with glue. You do need them flat because if you try to do them decoupage, they may, they may not swim through. You may get it to be too wide. So... Just good old glue stick going on here. Works for me. Just as long as you get the edges. That's it. Pick it up. Move that out the way. And you line it up with that other inner line. And the good thing about glue stick is I can see I need to move it a bit as you can do that you can move it whereas if you use double-sided or some other type of glue no no I'm still not right they even show as us professionals can get it wrong pull it off but see how easy it is now then straighten it up Third time lucky. So we do that and then we'll turn over and we'll put the happy birthday in. Oh, I'll just put some glue on that. The idea of the swing card, turn this over so I don't get any on the front, is that when it closes you can see the sentiment tag. Um, when you open it up you've got that lovely um, image in the middle. Or you could have words, you could do anything really. Have a, a, a saying or a sentiment of some sort. Um, so that's just boss stick glue stick I use. Oh, hello, I've got the ends here I haven't done. You can't see it sometimes. There we go. And now, that's it. Let's see if we can lay this on the first time correct. Yes. No. <laughs> Pull it over. Push it back. Pull it down, pull it over, over a little bit more. Yes, that looks pretty good. They're done. Right, so now the hard work is done. We now have to score 
do the folds for these lines. Now you're not going to fold through there, but you are going to fold these bits. So there's your valley fold. Oh, see, I said I should clean my bone knife. Never mind. Press that down. So that's your valley fold. And this, if you go back this way, becomes your mountain fold. Has it gone through? Yes, there it is. Be really careful here because this is the front of the card. I can live with a slight smudge on the back. Okay, so what you've got here now is your swing card. It says happy birthday. And when you open it up, it's that. So now, all that's left for us to do is to add our decoupage. Get my little box of tricks out. And those little foam squares. And see what we've got. We want to make sure... You always want to make sure your base decoupage is on nice and steady because it will support anything else that you're going to put on. I might put one more there, I think. Okay. Let's take these bits off. Almost there, oh, all done, all right. So now I'm gonna line up this and hopefully if I get this lined up, the rest will be right. Yep, yeah. press it down and then the extra piece. do it. These little squares get everywhere. Well, all done, yes. Look at that, see? So that's what we're lining up with again. Oh look, there's just a little bit needs to come off, that's it. Good. So that's the flower piece done, your 3D flower. It's up to you if you want to print more off and, uh, and make it even more 3D. Remember, though, you've got to get it in the envelope. Just a thought. You can embellish this any way you like. Crystals, glitter, whatever takes your fancy. I think that needs a bit under there. So that's what I'm going to give it a bit under there. Oh, it's got paper on it. Good. Now then. Just, uh, I'll have to use this because I don't think I've got a pencil anywhere. 
and it always I have oh yeah if you want to give your leaves just a little bit more movement you can just get a pencil and can just curl your leaf up a little like that so it gives it a little more realism to it anyway there's your swing card all finished as I said, very simple to make, but really quite effective. So uh, if you get this, I hope that you enjoy making this card with this lovely envelope and happy crafting until next time. Helen Howe Designs saying goodbye. <laughs>